Thursday, June 8th. Um, at the Rock Lake put in on the Madawaska River. We're gonna be heading down Rock Lake into Penn Lake and then into uh, Clyde Gale for the night. The weather is a little cool, but it's nice. This last week was pretty warm. Still seems to be a fair bit of mosquitoes out. There's barely anybody in the parking lot, so it should be a pretty quiet trip, I'm guessing. I don't really expect to see many people this time of year, but uh, we'll see. Coming up to the pictograph site. I don't know if you can see that one. like some sort of animal. Um, there's a big spider. But above the spider, there's uh, three lines up here. It looks like tally marks or something. Right, right there.
This is a pierce ring that comes out of the rocks here. Singling this portage right now, but uh, my backpack rides up kind of high, so I might have to double the rest of them. The portage is pretty short, though. Quite the log jam here. You can see it under the water. And on the other side, sounds like some rushing water. Just entering Penn Lake now. It's about 2.20 in the afternoon. It'll probably take me about an hour to paddle the full length. I'm not really rushing today. Just, just this lake and another small portage into uh, Clyde Gale, so not really in a rush. Um, I think I might I might take a detour over to Gem Lake just to check it out. I've never been to Gem Lake. It's a 615 meter portage. I just have to go. Just have to go left around this this point. So I think I'm gonna go check it out. Along the rocks, you can see how far the water level has already dropped. You can see the lines where the pollen is.
so bad of a portage so far. I'm getting the feeling that it's going to get steep really quick. But so far it's okay. And now here's the climb. It's not too steep at least, it's kind of gradual. I think it's going up the side of the hill. Okay, here comes another climb. It'll be all downhill on the way back. campsites on this lake. Just portage in and fish. Nice cliff behind me. few casts. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. I got a perch. Nice little lake, but uh, I gotta get going. Um, 350 right now. I still have to <laughs> paddle all of Penn Lake. Uh, man, I really like this little lake. Next time I'll have to bring my fly rod. Had a few bites. Um, a couple really good bites too. I don't really have the time to fish this lake, so I'll have to come back again.
right time to say goodbye to Gem Lake. Get back to Penn Lake. I really wish I had more time on this lake. Oh well. Next time, police, I know it's a good lake to come to. And the leaves coming out, it's all downhill. Alright, back to Penn Lake.
just launched into Clyde Gale. Now to find a campsite. There's an island site. It's kind of close to the portage I want to take tomorrow morning. So, we go check that one out first. See if it's any good. to that portage at the, the put-in so I'm guessing it must have been like a little shortcut because I'm guessing the, the end of the regular portage is up here somewhere And this is some new territory for me. I've never been on Clyde Gale before. I have a feeling I might have this lake to myself. I didn't see anybody else except for at the portage going into Penn Lake. And they were just paddling in for the day. Might be a quiet lake. Okay, let's go check it out. It's a pretty big site. Nice big spot for the tent. grills, uh, frying pan, <laughs> um, fire pit definitely looks neglected, but uh, there's a fire ban on, so doesn't matter anyway. Now it's weird, when I came up on the shore with the kayak, I heard what sounded like someone chopping in the bush across that way but there's nobody else on any of the other campsites and there's no campsite over there so 
Not sure what that was. Anyway, I'm going to go set up my tent and maybe make some supper. And over there is where my portage is in the morning. All right, I got the tent set up. Just gonna make a quick, easy meal. Maybe just some, just boil some water on my stove and make some soup. And I'm probably gonna turn in early because I worked last night again. And uh, I'm pretty worn out. It's been a long day. It was up for over 24 hours. So, if I don't make any more recordings, I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's kind of a rainy night last night. <laughs> you can see the shape of my tent where it was. Just having a quick uh, Cliff Bar for breakfast. Got my stuff all packed up. Kind of slept in a bit. I guess I was a little tired. And that's okay. I should be well rested for uh, what I'm going to take on today. I'm going to be hitting the 2 kilometer portage over to Little Canoe Lake. And I'm going to try to make my way to the Gallipo Lakes. And that's where I'm going to stay tonight. So, get my gear in the kayak. And I'm going to head it. Here I go up the dark dreary portage. It's a road at the halfway point. And, uh, that's where I'm going to stop and drop the kayak off and go back for my backpack. This must have been an old road at one time. It's pretty, uh, pretty wide portage. Here's the road. Okay, I see some flagging tape over there. here go back at the bag okay that's where the portage goes there's the road and that's where the portage goes to um, little canoe lake now as you can hear and see it is pouring out and I think 
what I'll do is I'll walk the road instead. It's an extra two kilometers, but it's a pretty open road and instead of slopping through there and trying to find my way back up to the to the road further down on uh, Little Canoe Lake, I think it might be easier for me to portage following the road to Gallipo. So I think I'm gonna take this way. So I'm gonna bring my backpack to where I think the portage comes out at. And then I'll come back for the kayak. So I came to this fork and I got confused. So I was like, I better check the map. And apparently, I'm supposed to go right back here. So I have to backtrack a few hundred meters, which isn't fun since this about a, I don't know, six or seven kilometer portage already. Oh well, I'm glad I checked the map. I should have checked it that that other fork, but uh, oh well. That's the way it's supposed to go. So, back on track again. Okay, when you come to this spot here, you come from that way. Looks like the main road goes up the up a hill that way. But uh, the way you're supposed to go is over here. You follow this old road.
And this looks like it's Bushwhackers Pond here. And I could, looks like I could see the lake to my left. I'm just trying to find a way to get down to it. I'm gonna swing off here. See if I can make my way down. Oh yeah, getting some soakers here. Oh yeah. Okay, it only took a few hours. And I'm on East Gallipo Lake. Heading west of East Gallipo Lake. Really looking forward to supper tonight. Maybe staying on South Gallipo. Oh boy.
Ooh, short portage, but pretty steep. It's the last one of the day. Wow, look at that big rock. It's pretty neat. just my eyes or does it look really like humid and hazy?
This is the campsite I'm supposed to be on. I don't see the sign, but I see smoke. So I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna try to drown that. Wow. Okay. I'll get on shore over here somewhere. That is crazy. Okay, where can I pull up? Okay, I just got my kayak. I pulled it up the rocks here. Look at this, look at this. I gotta put this. I'm guessing someone must have stayed here last night. Oh boy. I think what I have to do is, I think I have to paddle out of here. Um, I'm gonna have to, Gonna have to take oh kind of a long portage. I paddled it or I portage close to seven kilometers today. But uh, I gotta I think I the only thing I could do is to um is to paddle out and and call the uh, call the park uh, to let them know about this. Um. But anyway, yeah, I got a, I got a bit of a trek ahead of me now. After portaging that uh, seven kilometers on that bushwhacker trail, okay, I got to go down Galico River first into Rents Lake. Louisa, that might be the quickest way. And then the three kilometer portage down to Rock Lake. Anyway, I gotta get out of here and I gotta call somebody about this. Okay, at least it's a short portage. Well, I'm really out of steam too. myself either.
may take me a while to get out of here. Um, I just had to walk a couple hundred meters. Uh, had to walk the kayak down some uh, really shallow parts. So, yeah, it might take me a while to get out of here. I barely have enough room for my paddle <laughs> on this. I have to bring out my little prototype paddle here. around me right now. Good trip for seeing moose at least. One right in front of me. Okay, it's just a short portage, put me pretty close to Rents Lake, and that'll be it for the, this part of the Gallopo. Okay, so, sinking on the last portage, the quickest way, for me anyway, right now, with how worn out I am, is probably the two kilometer portage from Welcome into Gallipo. And then from there, it's just a, I think a 95 meter on the Gallipo. And then the 375 from Penn to Rock Lake. And Oh, that should be it. Just in the wetlands here before Rents Lake.
Hmm. No portage. Got a beaver dam. It's been a very interesting day. Got a day of obstacles. Really no portage around this? Am I missing something? There must have been a portage, I must have missed it.
How come there isn't a sign on the other side? See up there? Day of obstacles, that's for sure. And rocks. A very weird day, that's for sure. Okay, stop for a breather. I think it might be actually quicker if I go into Louisa Lake. Because I know that three kilometer portage from Louisa to Rock Lake is mostly downhill, so it's not so bad. I just don't feel like paddling all the way up Penn Lake and then all the way up Rock Lake. And, uh, this route I'm pretty familiar with, so... Well, I think, uh, I think I'll take this one.
Okay. Coming up to the first portage here. It's a short one, 
that's Cecil Lake down there. Portage took a while to do. A little long. I am, I am absolutely worn out. So I'm just going to go find a campsite. And good morning from uh, Louisa Lake. I pulled up onto this campsite. It was around 10 30 at night. Uh, I just ran out of steam. I had to I had to pull over and sleep again. But what time is it now? It's around seven, so I'm gonna head out. portage of the trip. I've done this portage several times, it's not too bad. I usually carry to the high point where there's a canoe rest and I go back for my bag and then sometimes from there I single it because it's all downhill. how I feel today. Especially the way that bag sits, I can't really, it's hard to single with that bag. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to add some clips to that back hatch so it doesn't always make that slamming noise every step I take. walked on last night on the other portage. This part 
of the portage here goes through an old logging camp. Used to be a canoe rest there. This is uh, the high point of the, <clears throat> the portage, but I'm going to carry to the halfway point, then I'll go back for my bag. It's just another 500 meters or so. Okay, this is about the halfway point. I'm going to go back for my. Uh, Backpack. Okay, last stretch. 